My name is Glenn Johnson, Whiskey Zero Golf Juliet, and I have a QTH near Bemidji, Minnesota. I have 40-some acres with about 18 antennas. Um, four of my antennas are over 150 feet tall. Two of the towers rotate with stacked arrays. And this is my station. The, the, the centerpiece is the ICOM 7800. It has two receivers in it. And all the antenna switching is done automatically. Every antenna that's on all the, the towers comes into the shack. Uh, behind this wall and all the antenna switching is automatic. If I go to 160 meters you can see all the relays or the antennas are picked, the proper antennas are picked off and as I go through the bands you can see the antennas um, switch. And there's uh, a default and if I want to uh, go to another antenna to make that a default I hold it down and that becomes the default for that band. Um, and these are these control the the low frequency antennas, the 160 and 80 meter antennas. This is for 40. This is for 20, 15, and 10. This is for the work bands, and this is for the bandpass filters when we're running two rigs at once during a contest. I have one antenna that's called a stepper antenna that has elements that are of variable length, and this controls that. And I have rotor and rotor, rotor, rotor controls. And here are the phasing boxes for um, the different. Um, um, stacks of antennas that I have and the four square antennas um, so by these I can control um, the phasing of different antennas on the on the towers and this is a receiving antenna for the low bands uh, this is called a K9AY loop for the low bands and you don't see an amplifier here this is all we have for an amplifier it's the the control head of uh, 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 an ACOM uh, 2000 and uh, it switches, it switches um, bands automatically. So there's 10 meters with 1500 watts out. And then here's 15 meters with 1500 watts out. It just takes a second just to uh, switch. Or it'll go to 20 meters, just one dit. And then it's, it's tuned for 20 meters. So that's, you know, makes antenna switching, amplifier tuning just instant and, and very, very nice. So that's my station in a nutshell. And we'll go behind the, this wall here and you'll see all the wires and wireless. Every antenna comes in to the top and these are AB switches. And the power off default goes to the 7800. And on the other side of the room I have another station and when it selects this antenna it will switch and it, it, this will feed to the second station. So these are all the antennas. There's a, a row of them here. There's a row of them down here where they all come in and there's an A-B switch. So every each of the two stations can select any antenna that, that's up. And then these are all the antenna switches right here that are all computer controlled. These one, two, three, four, five, six are all computer controlled boxes uh, that uh, pick the proper antenna for the, uh, for the radio. Now you've seen all the wires and wireless. This is a recent plaque I got from uh, VP5H in the Caribbean, uh, Turks and Caicos. This was uh, first place North America in the International DX Contest. And I'm getting another one because last year we got first place world, not just North America. This is a plaque uh, I got two years ago um, for 2010 for first place North America um, in the ARRL, the International DX Contest. Um, this was first place North America. Last year we won uh, first place world. That plaque isn't here yet, but it's on its way. This is a plaque, uh, first place United States um, for um, 40 meters um, RTTY or teletype contest. That was uh, last year. That's, I have several of those. This was uh, for a 160 meter contest um, for doing 100% search and pouncing uh, without uh, staying on one frequency call in CQ for a 160 meter contest. This plaque is from 2009 for first place United States uh, 40 meter uh, RTTY or teletype. I do a lot of uh, teletype contesting and I do a lot of CW contesting and this was uh, for teletype. I like to do a lot of 160 meter contesting QRP that means five watts or less and 160 meters that's a real challenge and these three plaques represent um, first place world in 2008, 2009, 2010 
and I think I did it again in 2011, but it'll be several months before I know. But these are first place world QRP uh, 160 meters, and typically I can work. I have worked in all these contests on 160, all 50 states uh, in less than 24 hours with five watts on 160 meters, and that's quite a challenge. I have some good antennas. My favorite antenna is a quarter wave uh, ground plane. It's a made from Roan 25G. The total height is about 160 feet. There's an insulator at about 25 feet with four elevated radials. And that tower is the ground plane. It's perfectly resonant on 160, has a very broad uh, bandwidth. And uh, with that antenna, it's a real killer for uh, with five watts. I have another antenna. It's an inverted V with the apex about 140 feet. Um, they're about, those two antennas are about 600 feet apart. And between those two antennas and some good listening antennas, um, I can work a lot of good DX on 160, even with 5 watts. It was too cold to go around Glenn's yard and get a photograph of all 18 towers. Here's the main tower and a few short ones so you have some idea what his antenna farm looks like. <laughs> 